I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that you, yes, you watching this right now, are an introvert. How do I know this? Because you're watching YouTube videos instead of being outside. What are you doing on computer? Go outside, so beautiful! Yeah! Don't worry, I'm an introvert too. I got an email from an eight-year-old once. He said he liked my videos. It was one of the worst emails I ever got. So I'm just gonna briefly explain what introvert means to all the eight-year-olds watching this. Hey kids, are you ready to learn? An introvert is a person who doesn't really like to play with other kids. This doesn't make them sad that they're lonely, they just would rather play by themselves. Think of it this way. Has your friend ever asked you to play with them, but you didn't really want to, so you asked your mom to make up a reason for you not to go? If so, then you're probably an introvert. Or you just need better friends. Me and my mom had a code word, so if a friend was on the phone who wanted to hang out, I would say, let me ask my mom. And when I asked her, if I said the code word, it meant, mom, make up an excuse so I can't go. I'm not gonna say the code word because I still plan on using it. I actually made a comic kind of similar to this back in 2014, and it's one of my most popular comics, so thanks for liking it. Obviously, it would be one of my most popular comics. I mean, look how great it is. Michael, the creator of Vsauce, hey Vsauce, Michael here, has this new YouTube Red show called Minefield. And as of right now, it's the best YouTube Red series. And in the first episode, Michael goes into an isolation room for three days. He has no technology, he's all by himself for three days. When I first saw this, I thought, hey, maybe I should try that. Yeah, three days of nothing but your own thoughts. I can think of comic ideas, I can write a book, and I don't even have to write any of these ideas down because everything I say is being recorded. This could be my next vacation. Also, speaking of YouTube Red, Hey Susan, I heard you had a new spot open for a Red series. I have this great idea called the YouTuber Swap. It's like Wife Swap, but with YouTubers. Just hit me up if you're interested. Now, don't get the wrong idea that I'm someone who hates people. I don't. It's just, if we're strangers, then I'd rather not talk to you. Unless you're a stranger who's a fan of my videos, okay? We can talk about me all day. Bringing up a point from the last video, don't be afraid to talk to me. You know, every YouTuber is in a weird position with their fans, because if you meet me, you already have a pretty good idea of who I am as a person. Person. For instance, you know how long I wet the bed, but for me, I have no clue how long you wet the bed. So, what are we talking about? I'm okay with having a conversation with people, okay? It's just that I'm never the one who starts the conversation. But again, this doesn't apply to fans. I like to think that I'm decent with conversation, but I don't really know how good I am at it. I did fail public speaking. But on occasion, there are times when it's awkward not to talk to a stranger. One time in my college years, I got on an elevator to go to a class and another person got on with me. I live a pretty crazy life, I know. And I did what anyone should do in that situation. I didn't say anything to the other person. But then when we got on our floor, you know how the elevator doors are supposed to open? Well, this time, it didn't. The doors didn't open. This is an introvert's worst nightmare, by the way. And it wasn't one of those elevators that you could fit a king-size bed into. This elevator was about the size of a red box. Is the... is the door gonna open? It seems like it should open by now. What do you do in that situation? You can't not talk to the person you're now trapped with. So, what class are you going to? Physics? Oh, that makes sense, because this is a science building. <laughs> Enough time had passed where we started looking up the school's number to tell them that we were stuck, which is what you're supposed to do, right? There's not like a button on the elevator that you can press to call for help, right? But luckily, while we were doing that, for whatever reason, after a solid two minutes, the door decided to open. And just the wave of relief that went over me and this kid. Oh! I thought we'd be in there for hours! I hope I never see you again. Same. And that's why I'm never going in an elevator again. It's too risky. I think the problem I have is that I'm bad at starting conversations. Normally, if I'm talking to someone who I don't know, I'll ask, so, how was your day? But if your day was anything but good, I don't want to hear it. <sighs> My dog died. Yeah, they do that. Why is starting a conversation so hard? I only know like three good conversation starters. The first one is, how was your day? And if that doesn't work, I start talking about all this crazy weather we're having. And in Arizona, there's really only one weather. Hot. Although it did rain like two weeks ago. And lastly, if I have nothing else to ask, I hit them with a really hard question. What color is your toothbrush? Mine's red. To start a conversation, sometimes people will ask, what's your favorite blank? I have nothing against these types of questions. I think it tells you a lot about the person you're talking to, but there's one form of this question that I really hate. And it's the question, what's your favorite candy bar? And I hate this question because my favorite candy bar, and I will stick by my answer no matter what you think, is M&M's.
It's not a candy bar. Ow! What an astute observation! I'm a very simple man, all right? I like my chocolate pure. Sometimes when people ask this, I think, oh, I should just say Twix. People won't get mad if I say Twix. But then I remember, screw Twix, I like M&M's. But James, why don't you just say Hershey's bar? Because Hershey's makes a mess on your hands and they don't come in a convenient bite-sized pieces while M&M's hard outer shell improves their overall texture. Why am I even having this argument? I had a friend tell me, well, James, I really like Smarties, but I know they're not a bar, so I don't say they're my favorite candy bar. First of all, dude, Smarties? Really? That's your favorite candy? And second of all, the person asking the question honestly doesn't care what my answer is. Why are you asking such a specific question? You're excluding so much other candy. Candy bars are exclusively chocolate. What if my favorite candy isn't chocolate? What if it's Smarties? Whoa, did you guys see what I just did there? I was talking about M&Ms for like a whole minute. I was having a conversation, all because I was arguing why M&Ms are my favorite candy bar. So that's it. That's how you talk to people. You disagree with everything they say and then argue about it. So everyone watching, argue about your favorite candy bar down in the comments.